Hi everybody, today we want to take a look at the R15M16 system. Here we have the boat, boat head, boat carrier, carrier key, and the cam pin which is connected with the boat head and guides its turning move. Here we have a cutaway upper receiver, barrel extension, where the boat head locks into. Now for a short moment we want to install the carrier key reverse so that you can better see how the cam pin moves in the receiver. Here you see the cam pin and now it moved to the left and the bolt head locked up with a belt extension. So if there is a loaded magazine in the weapon like this, the bolt has to strip a cartridge off the magazine. And this requires quite a bit of effort, especially on a fully loaded mag. And this is what happens here. The boat is pushed forward by the boat spring and the boat head hits the topmost cartridge in the magazine and now gets some counter pressure and wants to move rearwards to do its turning move. But it cannot because the cam pin presses against the left inside of the receiver. At the same time the boat carrier is forced to do a turning move into the counter direction and this will jam the bolt in the receiver. You can see it now it moves free. If it's just a bit of counter pressure the boat gets stuck in the receiver. And before everybody claims this is due to this cutaway receiver, you will take this one. Now it moves free. There is just a bit of counter pressure here. The boat gets stuck. This is the main problem here. So far we worked with a dry bolt. Now we want to do some light lubing here. Just the contact areas if possible between bolt carrier and the receiver. Huh? The raised areas here, the size of the cam pin, the carrier key, and here the rest the best nut. So this will reduce friction. And now we will see what happens. Oh, the same. Even with some slight lubrication, the boat jams in the receiver. And now, I want to perform a little dust test. Just for the fun. If it moves, uh, it moves a bit, but with the counter pressure, <laughs> nothing anymore. And now, I want to try something. I'll take this clamp 
uh, the bolt head between the front end of the bolt carrier and the rear end of the locking locks. This will keep the bolt head away from moving rearwards and trying to do its turning move. And now, the clips give the counter pressure on the bolt head. Some more here. Inside here, not very realistic, but some fun has to be here. And it works. And we remove this little clamp here and put up counter pressure to the boat. And as expected, it doesn't do any good. The R15 M16 design is by nature a self-stopping system. So much for the bad. The good news is this can be fixed by some slight modifications to the board. And for instance the AK rifle as a typical reference model avoids this early turn problem right from the beginning. Well, I guess I'm done here for today. Thanks for watching. And for all the YouTube users, read the description. Thanks. See you. Hopla.